how to start your golf swing. Understanding sequence. The first thing is we have to remember is this, once we take our setup to hit a shot, my shoulders, okay, don't move like a plank of wood. I don't stand here and move like this. There is a independence in what we do, and this is very, very important. So this sequence, really, what I'm gonna talk about now is the takeaway. So as I, I'm gonna take my trail hand and put it here, and I'm just addressing the golf club in my lead hand and arm. Okay, now if you watch here, I'm gonna move this club away. My lead shoulder is moving down and across. My lead arm is moving away. Now my trail shoulder is doing very little. And when I do that, I can feel the pressure being built between my lead arm, my pec, my rib cage, okay? If I do what people think, this one piece takeaway rubbish, where the shoulders and the arms move together, I create zero pressure. I'm gonna be in all sorts of trouble. You can only swing as wide as the lead arm allows, because that's the length. It doesn't grow as you play golf. So as I stand here, the sequence, and remember this is an individual sequence, lead shoulder moves down and across, and it's independent. Now, watch when I put my trail hand on the golf club. Okay, my trail arm now, my lead shoulder moves down and across, my lead hand moves the club away, and then it allows my trail arm to start to fold. If I move simultaneously like this, like a block of wood, then it's going to be very difficult to load the club. Watch from this angle. Very important. Lead shoulder down and across, lead arm swings away. Now I just get my trail hand and it sits on top. Now you can see my lead shoulder has actually moved far greater than my trail shoulder on the move away. This is something you have to know. Basically, nobody teaches this. Nobody really thinks about this process. I get people into the studio to the lab, and the first thing I do is I stand behind them, I ask permission first, put my hands on their rib cage, and then I say, swing. And every single person until they meet me, they move like a block of wood. Their shoulders, their rib cage, all moves simultaneous. It cannot. Because the sequence, kinematic sequence this is called, means this, that if the lead shoulder moves it creates pressure. So remember the elastic band. If I hold an elastic band at the bottom and then twist at the top, I create a coil, a stretch. I create torque, okay? So then, if I've got torque, I can release that and create power. But if I move the top and the bottom together, what will I create? Zero torque, zero true coil, zero pressure, and no power. Go to our YouTube channel, youcoachyougolf.com. Sign up, give us a like, help us. Thank you.